name's Nina, and these are my friends from Mexico. It's Ventura Fabian and his son, Roberto Fabian. And they're wood carvers. Um, and they made all these beautiful things here by hand and they painted them and I'll tell you a little bit about what they do and how they do it and um, so I'll talk for a little bit and then I'll show you a video about their life in Mexico and then you could ask questions and I'll pass stuff around so you could see it up close and everybody knows where Mexico is right in the sixth grade so do people know where Oaxaca is? Another village might might weave straw baskets like this. Um, and then other villages do, do pottery work, like there's one village that just does green pottery and another village that does just black pottery. And in the old days, the indigenous tribes, the Indian tribes, that's the way they used to conduct their business. They would trade their craft products for what they needed to, for other villages. And they have a festival, a holiday in their village called Carnaval. And it's sort of, it's basically Mardi Gras. After Ventura carves it, and after it's sanded down, how his younger kids paint the base coat, you know, before they learn to paint really well, they'll take a bigger brush and just do like blocks of color. So they'll paint just blue pants and just a red top. And then as they get older and can handle a paintbrush better, like Norberto, they'll put the designs on it. So I'll pass this around later to show you. And I'll, I'll also pass around this wood, the copal wood that they use, which grows in Mexico and Central America, and because it's got a, a really distinct smell. And then the sap that comes out of it, when that's dry, they use that for incense. That's the road right outside their house here. And all the roads in their town are like that. They're all dirt roads. It's a very rural country area. There's only one paved road in the whole town, coming from the main highway, but all the rest are dirt roads. So that's their elementary school in their village. It's a very small village, and there's only one elementary school. And it's a public school, but all the public school kids in Mexico have to wear uniforms. <laughs> se pone al sol a secar para que la madera no pese para que la madera What tools does he use? ¿Qué clase de herramientas para tallar se usa? La primera herramienta que se ocupa es el machete.
las figuras empecé a hacer desde el 72, pero también mis abuelos también fueron artesanos. Es importante para mí enseñar a, a mis hijos y a todos esa arte de nosotros, de padre a hijo, a nieto. Yo cuando empecé a trabajar, yo los hacía, yo los alijaba y los pintaba. Y mi esposa me ayudaba porque mis hijos todos estaban chiquitos. Ahora ya no trabajo yo solo, trabaja mi hijo, trabajo yo, trabaja el otro. Su esposa. Y también mi hija trabaja con él. Todos, todos trabajamos. <risa> Thank <laughs> you.